Hey guys, uh, welcome to your career and money reading for uh, Aries. You could apply this to your Sun, Moon, uh, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Uh, this is going to be for the month of October. So we're going to take a look at your over energies uh, regarding your career and your money, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect. And then we'll finish off the read to see uh, what else you guys need to know, uh, what to look out for, okay, for the rest of October. So apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Aries, let's get started. Tell me about Aries here. Tell me about Aries regarding their career and their money. What is surrounding Aries? What does Aries need to know? What can Aries expect for October 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Aries regarding their career and their money. Look at the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Cups. I feel like you want to walk away because I feel like you have too much on your plate right now. Okay, there's a lot going on. Or that you could be walking away from a situation where you feel like you're taking on too much and that you're looking for new opportunities here. All right, let's see. Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Two of Pentacles in the Page of Swords. Yeah, I, I just feel like there's an energy of you looking for something more here, looking for something better. Uh, you know, that Page of Swords, you know, that's like an internet energy. That's the energy of someone, perhaps you are online looking for a new job on LinkedIn, Indeed, whatever that may be. I just feel like you don't know what you're looking for, okay? And I feel like this process that you're going through regarding what you want to do, Perhaps you're seeking your life's purpose. It's taking a long time, okay? Um, let's see what else we have. Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and Judgment. So I feel like with Judgment here, I feel like you're being called for a higher calling here when it comes to your career, when it comes to what you're meant to do here, okay? So I feel like you might be having some sort of awakening surrounding this because whatever you're going through right now with that five of pentacles, it could be an indication that you're really struggling financially. Okay, um, let's see. The knight of pentacles. Why is the knight of pentacles here? We're going to nine of cups, the uh, queen of swords, and the wheel of fortune. Okay, so things are about to change for you in a big way. Okay, so let's say you've been stuck in a rut for a while. Okay, uh, you know, things are not going your way. Things are not really taking off. Things are about to change here. Things are about to improve in a big way for you, uh, Aries. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune here. Uh, because with the Nine of Cups, this is an indication that you might be getting your wish fulfillment or that you'll find your wish fulfillment. You're finding something that you really want to do here. Okay, um, tell me about the Two of Pentacles. With the hangman, Piscean energy, the page of swords, and the page of wands here. Okay. Seems like you're being enlightened here. Seems like you're finding something that you're really excited to do, you're really passionate about. Okay. Um, you know, with the pages, this could be an indication that you might be going to going back to school for something, to learn something more, to improve your, I guess, career trajectory here. Okay. So it seems like there's a lot going on here, Aries, for you regarding your career here. Um, what else do we have for Aries for the rest of October regarding the career and their money? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Aries. What else do we have for Aries here? What else do we have for Aries? Okay. 
Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Lovers. Okay. Seems like things are balancing out. Things are coming into harmony when it comes to your career and your money. Okay. Uh, like I said, it might have taken a long time here, but it's happening. The universe has your back. Okay. The divine has your back. Your guides and your angels and your ancestors might have your back here too. Um, so, you know, I, I, I'm just seeing improvements in a big way. You might be finding something that you really love to do. Uh, you know, it might be like charity work or something like that, or that it, you might be, you know, turning towards, you know, a nonprofit organization or something like that. Um, let's see what else we have here with the Hermit and the Empress. Look at that. Virgo energy with the Emperor. Uh, no, the uh, Virgo energy with the Hermit, Empress, Libra, Taurus here. Yeah, there's an energy of leveling up here. Um, so Aries, you're definitely in this energy of definitely like attracting here. Uh, you know, there's an energy of growth and expansion. You're manifesting here too. Uh, you know, I feel like you've taken some some time to do some soul searching here to figure out what what is it that you want to do. Um, you know, it could be it could be giving back to others and helping others here. We have the Four of Cups in the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. You know, I feel like the universe is giving you opportunities and I feel like you're taking it. Yeah, I feel like you're taking it. Like the universe is shaking up your world a bit here. And I feel like you're just accepting it gracefully and you're just going with it. Tell me what the, about the Six of Pentacles here. With the Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Page of Cups. Lots of pages here. So there's definitely a new beginning that's happening here for you. There's, ex there's excitement here. There's passion. Okay, there's emotion regarding this. Uh, perhaps, you know, some of you guys might be turning to something that's, you know, artistic, art-based here. You know, something in the performing arts. Uh, like I said, it could be a thing that some of you guys might be going back to school, okay? Or taking a course to improve your standing uh, when it comes to your career trajectory here. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, uh, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The uh, Hermit and the Queen of Cups. The Empress and the Seven of Wands. So I feel as though you're definitely sort of like standing up for yourself here. We have like three out of the four queens here. So there is an energy of definitely, you know, there's an energy of definitely you being really well-rounded here too. And just stable. Yeah, just stable through all the challenges that you're going through here. There's an energy of definitely overcoming uh, the Four of Cups. With the Three of Wands, the Tower, and the Magician here. Yeah. It's sort of like you're asking the universe to sort of like bring it, on, bring it on. And I feel like the universe is giving it to you. You know? So I feel like you're definitely looking toward taking this opportunity. Taking what the uh, universe, taking the opportunities that the universe is giving you. And basically making uh, lemonade out of lemons. Okay? So you're definitely in this energy of manifesting here. I do, perhaps some of you guys might be pursuing light work. If not, you know, it could be, you know, doing some sort of work, uh, you know, by being of service to others here. Okay. Uh, so Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.